The Team Eden that is about to launch their season two for Dark Age of Camelot, the private server, has just released a video showing off a secret project of theirs, a remake of Dark Age of Camelot, the classic MMORPG with the best PVP ever in Unreal Engine. And it looks stunning. Could these guys actually pull off remaking a classic MMO like Dark Age of Camelot in Unreal? We've all dreamed of seeing games like EverQuest, Ultima Online, Final Fantasy XI remade with modern graphics. And one of my favorite MMORPGs from the past is Dark Age of Camelot. And seeing this as a project being worked on has me very excited. We're going to be taking a look at the footage released, talk about the possibilities, and discuss how we would like this remake to play out and more. So please stick with the video until the end and let me know your wish list for this Dark Age of Camelot remake in the comments down below. My name is Nathan, I cover MMOs and RPGs, so please hit that like button like it owes you money, and please subscribe for more. Now, it's no secret that I plan to play and stream the new Eden server for Dark Age of Camelot launching here on December 2nd, 2023. And I had a blast with Season 1, and I just love me some Dark Age of Camelot. But there's no denying that some of these classics feel a little clunky, especially with their UIs and early 2000s graphics. Dark Age of Camelot released in 2000. 2001. And although it's nostalgic for me, I've always dreamed of it getting a graphic overhaul. We've had projects like Camelot Unchained by the same main guy behind the original Dark Age of Camelot, but that project is so far in the weeds I've all but given up on it. And lo and behold, the team releasing the Eden servers has announced they've been secretly working on a Dark Age of Camelot in the Unreal Engine. And this footage is jaw-dropping. The Eden team says they are fueled by passion and a deep respect for the original masterpiece and have been meticulously redesigning Dark Age of Camelot using the Unreal Engine in order to bring the realms of Albion, Midgard, and Hibernia into modern-day graphics. They say it isn't just a facelift, it's a complete reimagining that stays true to the soul of the game while propelling it into the future. They say that their vision for Dark Age of Camelot and Unreal is to capture the essence of what made the game extraordinary and to enhance it in every possible way, end quote. Now looking at the UI, it is obvious it is still in the works and not complete, but you can see that it's going to be modernized. I think the animations already look really good, and the look of the models is pretty darn nice as well. I'm not sure what wizardry they're doing to convert the animations from the original into these new models so flawlessly, but it really does look like the same animations from the original Dark Age of Camelot. If they can capture that feel and that look just right, I mean, this, this is going to be something really cool. I mean, you can see here they've even got swimming and swimming animations and in the water, it, it, it and going underwater, it just looks awesome. Here you can see some of the lighting effects in action, and I think this is also looks great and is very well done. For those that don't know, remaking a game in Unreal isn't an easy process. It's not just copy paste the old code into the new engine. That's <laughs> it's way more complicated than that. It's meticulous. It takes a lot of skill and time and talent. What these guys are pulling off is amazing. And Dark Age came out is especially challenging because it's three different rounds with three different sets of races and three different sets of classes. And then the network code has to be able to support hundreds of people battling it out in the frontiers. I hope with their experience with the Eden Dark Age server that they can pull it off. And if they do, Broadsword, who owns Dark Age of Camelot, as in they own the IP, should seriously consider hiring them and pulling this project and team in-house and make this official. It would be an amazing story in the MMORPG industry and could breathe new life into this aging classic. Now as far as design, we don't know much yet, but I'm hoping for this remake that the leveling process takes some time. I would hope for a minimum of a time to level to max level 50 to be in line with something like World of Warcraft Classic at the very least, because the original journey was part of the secret sauce. The dungeons and camp spots hold many memories for many of us, and we would love to experience both sides of the coin, the PvE and the PvP. If the remake focuses too hard on getting us all into the end game and into the frontiers, which is great and exciting and I love the frontiers, but they will have kind of 
wasted so much development time on making each of the three realms in, Dar in Dark Age of Camelot just for us to blaze through them and never look back. It wouldn't feel good. Slow down that leveling a bit. This is why I believe we will get a more classic style experience. I don't think it'll be as slow as it was actually during the original classic Dark Age of Camelot days, but slowed down at least a little bit in order to appreciate this world and all the cool nooks and crannies and leveling spots and and also you meet people that you'll later fight with in the frontiers with your realm. Also, I think for development time's sake, they should start with classic Dark Age of Camelot. No Shrouded Isles yet, just the original stuff, and this gives them some time. They can release that, they'll get to see how that all runs and test their network code and all that kind of stuff, and buys them some time so later on down the pipeline they can release Shrouded Isles and move through the content. And since you're remaking it anyway, make it the original Frontiers. I think that would really get Dark Age of Camelot fans hyped. It's one of the most requested things, and Season 2 is going to have the old Frontiers during the events. One thing is for certain, if they pull this off and actually release, Dark Age of Camelot will be forever changed, and I think a ton of people who couldn't get over the old UI, the old graphics, will finally come and check out this gem of an MMORPG. And there are at least a hundred thousand old fans out there who are going to be extremely excited about this project, and I am definitely one of them. Dark Age of Camelot holds a very special place in my heart, not only because it showed that PvP could be fun and rewarding, but because Dark Age of Camelot was the MMO that made me realize that the future of MMORPG and the entire genre was limitless. The development team has a long hard road to try to get this into a beta form and even further into launch, but I really wish them the best and I'll be covering it here on the channel for sure as they progress. And for those that don't want to wait, come check out Dark Age of Camelot Eden Server Season 2 launching here on December 2nd. It's going to feature some really cool new features and it's going to be a blast. I have all the details in the description, and you can watch the video recommended at the end of this one to catch up on all the news and what that server is all about. I hope you enjoyed the video today, and make sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below, and your wish list for this remake of Dark Age of Camelot. And hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Daimlos, Sparrow, Random Rob, Rodney Oman, Gallerane Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Bad Wolf Gaming, Cobalt, William Long, Robert Deneka, Ohalo, and Angel Tariq. Thank you for your highest tier membership.